Hey guys, I'm Tommy Calloway. Thanks for coming back. So I did find a fix to, well, kind of a temporary fix to the issue with the files coming out of the GH5 when using 10-bit 4K. Um, first off, what, well, what I did to fix them is I open up Adobe Media Encoder um, and then I pick the file that I recorded with a GH5 and 10-bit and then I process it and convert it into DNxHR. Now, <clears throat> this came from Adobe themselves. They told me to do this until they're able to patch it. And they did get back to me, and they are working on a patch to make it so the GH5's files come seamlessly out of the camera and into the program. Um, the downside of this is that the DNxHR format is going to increase the file size by about four times. And if you wanted to keep the original, you've got like five times the file space. Uh, and that's, that's kind of a bummer, but at the same time, it's not Adobe's fault, really. I mean, this is a new camera. It just came out, and they're already on top of it to try and fix this file format. And you can make the files usable. I'll put my original test file that I linked in my previous video complaining about these files in this description so you can download the original and you can download the converted one. And you'll see that the file, even though it's four times bigger, it plays seamlessly in Adobe. It's just because they haven't had time to recognize the format. Now, there's another hot topic that's still going around with this camera, which is the autofocus. I mean, I still think the autofocus is fine. I'm currently using it. I mean, yeah, sure, it might not be... Like, it, it might not be as fast as, like... Canon or Sony, uh, but I mean, they have they have different systems, and those systems, if you wanted to get invested into them, is gonna are gonna cost you significantly more, especially if you want to be recording 4K at 60p, uh, which I'm pretty sure the GH5 is the only camera that actually does it right now, and it's cheaper than the, all the alternatives unless you want to go with like a Blackmagic uh, Ursa Pro or Ursula Mini Pro or whatever, but that's gonna cost you thousands and thousands more and it doesn't even have autofocus. So I still think that the autofocus on this camera is a non-issue. Um, I mean, it's it works great for me and I mean, there's actually, there's, there's I talked to Max Yuryev and that guy is actually super nice and he put a ton of effort into making, into testing this camera and doing everything he could to get to test every setting possible. And then he's meeting up with another Lumix Luminary, uh, Photo Joseph. Right now, I guess they're filming videos on more of the autofocus. They're testing all their cameras together, seeing if there's any defective ones, doing different real-world tests. Um, I mean, there there are plenty of videos about the autofocus on this camera. I understand why it's such a huge issue for everyone. I mean, people are trying to buy this camera so they can use it for every possible situation they want to vlog with it and they just want to focus on the things that they want to be in focus and for any camera that you have you're gonna to have to work with that camera to get your desired results there's a reason professional camera crews using professional cameras have three people operating the camera they have a person whose entire job is focus puller you cannot replace that with a piece of software for the most part. I mean, I know the GH5 does have that built-in focus pull, but that's very premeditated. Um, so, I mean, the autofocus on this camera, although it is not what Sony and Canon or even what Samsung did with their NX1, is it's not up to that level. It's, it's not compromising because of all the other things that you get with this camera. And personally, this is the first camera that I've owned that actually has autofocus. So I don't, I mean, I, I'm sure that there's a lot of other cameras. I mean, people were vlogging with the, uh, I think the Blackmagic Pocket Cinema camera didn't even have autofocus. I could be wrong. But there's a lot of cameras out there that people are using right now that don't even have any autofocus. And so this is, this is kind of like a gimme because the autofocus in this camera works really good, at least for my own purposes, which is generally talking head or showing you how to do something, kind of very, very fixed focal point focus but now I can simply show you things by putting them in front of the camera which is actually a huge upgrade for me 
but now I can also record in 4K 60p, I can record in 10-bit, even, I mean, there's, it's a fresh camera, there are going to be some kinks that need to be worked out, and we all, anyone that owns one of these cameras already, uh, so close to the release date, they knew what they were signing up for when they bought a camera like that. Um, they've even planned to do a firmware update prior to the releasing, they said they're going to do a firmware update, um, you know, in the summer, so you knew you weren't getting the complete package when you bought it. So just let the issues get sorted out and enjoy the camera for what it is. I like this camera a lot. I think the images coming off of it are just absolutely stunning. And I also get autofocus, which is, it's a gimme and it works really well for me. There's plenty of other really great, really smart guys talking about the issue of autofocus right now. And I mean, if you wanna, if you're gonna let the autofocus hold you back from buying this camera, you're gonna be sacrificing a lot of other things um, for something that's really not all that important. Um, but that's, that's my own personal take on the whole situation. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I super duper appreciate it. If you're thinking about buying the GH5 and this video for some strange reason convinced you to make, pull the trigger, please click the link in the description because it is an affiliate link for me and it will help me out big time. Uh, I will get a small commission from Amazon on it. And I thank you so much. Have a great day. And I'll, I'll still make, if you guys still want, just let me know in the comments if you want me to make more autofocus tests on this camera, even though the subject has been beaten to death. Um, I'll still be happy to do it, even though there's so many other videos on the internet right now about the autofocus issue. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day.